Welcome back to 242 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson, and today we'll be looking at mathematical concepts for grade 6. Here we go, grade 6 students. Get your pen, pencil, and paper ready. Question 1. Arrange the letters V, I, X to make the smallest Roman numeral possible. The timer is set and off and running. Work fast, you don't have much time, grade 6. Let's see if you can get this one done. Roman numerals. Make the smallest Roman numeral possible. And you should be finishing off question 1. We move on to question 2. Write the dollar amount in the blue box shown on the check using numbers. Go ahead, look at the check. In that blue box, write the amount shown in dollars and cents. Get that one done, grade six. That's question two. You should be finishing that up by now. And we move on. Question three, continue the pattern and write the next number in the triangle and number pattern to complete it. So it starts with 10, then 15. So you draw the next pattern and put the number in to complete that table. Place the symbol and it's, I won't call them for you, you should know what they are, in the following to compare the groups of numbers. Go ahead, do A and then do B. Use the correct symbol, grade six. Got it? Very good. And we move on to question five. Use the picture to answer the following questions. A, write the fraction that the picture represents. B, write the decimal that the picture shows. And C, write the percentage that the picture demonstrates. Go ahead, do it quickly. You don't have much time left. Should be finishing up. And we move on to question six. Fill in the missing fraction to complete the number sentence. And then that's A, B, express two and three quarters as an improper fraction. Go ahead. You should be finishing off question six and we move on to question seven. Complete the following table for the given shape, number of faces, number of edges, number of vertices. Go ahead, let's see if you can get that done, grade six. Do it quickly. You should be finishing off question seven and we move on to question eight. Use the letters on the flag to answer the following questions. A, use four letters to name a rectangle. B, write the special name of triangle BCF. And C, name the type of angle shown at D. Go ahead, get it done, grade six. This is our Bahamian flag. And we move on to question nine. Use the pictures to answer the following questions. A, write the ratio of pineapples to flamingos. B, write the ratio of pineapples to both pineapples and flamingos. And we now move on to final question, question 10. Write an expression to show the perimeter of this rectangle. And simplify it. Once you get the expression, I need you to simplify it. 
That's question 10. And we move to the best part is answers. Get ready to mark grade 6. Let's see what you did on this test. Question 1. Arrange the letters V, I, X to make the smallest Roman numeral possible. You have to start with X. Then you have to put I and then V. X, I, V. Yes, X, I, V. That's the smallest number. That's 14. You cannot put X, V, I. That would be 16. So that's the smallest possible number you can make using those three letters. And we move on to question two. Write the dollar amount in blue box shown on the check using numbers. In word, it is $1,253.3500. $253 and $3,500. So you have to write $1,253.35. That's it. That's all you have to do for that. Just look at it in words and then write it in numbers. So that decimal number is shown there. Question three. Continue the pattern and then write the next number. This is triangular number. So all you do is you add one, two, three, four, five at the bottom. You add a row with six at the bottom. So it's six, five, four, three, two, one. Add them up. What do you get? 21 is the next triangular number. Nine, 15, then 21. Hope you got that one correct. You didn't even have to know about triangular numbers. Just continue the pattern. And we move on to question four. Place a symbol less than, greater than, or equal to to compare the groups of numbers. And remember, it always points to the smaller number. So in A, it has to it have to point to 2,145. That's smaller than 21,045. So always point it to the smaller number. In B, those two are equal. Those two decimal numbers are equal. No matter how many zeros you put at the back, it will still be equal. Question five, use the picture to answer the following questions. And the first question was, write the fraction that the picture represents. Yeah, it's 22 of them, so it's 22 hundredths. And B, write the decimal, that would be 0 0.22. Simple and straightforward. And C, write the percentage, well, 0 0.22 is 22%. Straightforward as well. Question six. Fill in the missing fraction to complete the number sentence. And here we go. What was the missing fraction you're adding? So it's one plus five, one eighth plus five eighths is six eighths. Yes, the missing fraction was five eighths. Now express two and three quarters as an improper fraction. Four two is eight, eight and three, eleven, eleven fourths. That would be the answer for B when you write it as an improper fraction. Move on to question seven. Complete the following table for the given shape. Number of faces. How many faces count the flat surfaces on that? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Number of edges. Count the lines. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. That's eight edges. And then number of vertices. Uh, one at the top. Then one, four at the bottom. Four and one. Five. Five vertices. There you have it. That's it for that shape and question eight use the letters on the flight down to the following question use four letters to name a rectangle so it would be a d k h that would be the rectangle write the special name of the triangle b c f yeah that's an isosceles triangle in black name the type of angle at d that is a 90 degree angle or right angle right or 90 degree angle that's it for question eight. More on question nine. Use pitch to answer the following questions. This is ratio. And the first one you had to figure out was the ratio of pineapples to flamingos. So you use the pineapple number first, four, and then you put two dots and three. So that would be it. That's the ratio of pineapples to flamingos. B, write the ratio of pineapples to both pineapples and flamingos. So it's four pineapples. How many pineapples and flamingos? Seven. So it's four to seven. Question 10, write an expression to the perimeter of this rectangle and write it in simplest form. So you add three and three, another side is three, three and three, and then x and x. So it's three plus three plus x plus x. So simplify that, three plus three is six, x plus x is two x, six plus two x centimeters. That would be your final answer for question 10. Grade six, I hope you got 100% on that. Thank you all for watching. 
and I will soon have another test for you. So please subscribe and share me out. I will see you in the next one. That's a wrap.